Hey everyone, Steve from Backcountry Gallery here, and this time around I thought we'd look at how to update the firmware on your Nikon camera. For this video, we'll be doing an update to my Z7, however the same procedure is used for Nikon DSLRs as well. However, before we jump in, just a quick reminder that videos are only half of what I do. Make sure you stop by the site and sign up for my free email newsletter so you also have access to all my articles as well. If you're not getting the articles, you're missing a ton of info. So, let's go ahead and jump into this whole firmware thing. First, before you do any updates, make sure you have a fully charged battery in the camera or the camera is connected to an AC adapter. You'll also need a memory card that you can safely format and a memory card reader attached to your computer. The first thing we need to do though is check our camera's current firmware version and then see if there's a newer version available. So let's go ahead and hit the menu button and we'll check that out. Okay, so let's go to the setup menu and we'll scroll down all the way down to where it says firmware version. They're almost always at the bottom here. And we're just gonna go ahead and click OK. And this is gonna show you the firmware version for this camera. In this case, the camera has C and MA and there's two different version numbers by them. That C and MA can vary from camera to camera, so don't freak out if your particular Nikon says something else in there, there's different letters in there. But what, what's important is that we're matching the C to the 1.02 and the MA to the 1.00. That's what we're gonna look at when we go ahead and check and see if we actually need to do a firmware update or not. So that's our next step. Let's go ahead and see if this camera even needs firmware, which, you know, spoiler alert, it does. Now, I realize that many of you are going to go to the firmware update page from a direct link, but if you wanna go and find it on your own, if you're just checking your camera, we're gonna start from there. So basically what I'm gonna do is type in Nikon Download Center, it comes up right here because I've searched for it before, and I'm gonna click this. And we have Download Center and Search by Product Name. You can also go by Product Category and it'll list everything out. I think it's easier just to do it by name. I'm going to type in Z. There's Z7 comes up there real nice and easy. But you can go ahead and search for your product name that way. Hit Search. We have some options here on the official Z7 Download Center page. There's some manuals. By the way, as a side note here, I don't usually do side notes, but I'm doing one here. These are really handy. These are your instruction manuals. I download one of these and I keep it in Dropbox. And I have Dropbox on my phone and on my laptop and on this computer that you're looking at right here. And it allows me to have a manual for my camera wherever I am. It's very handy. Highly recommend you do that. But anyhow, let's jump over to firmware because that's what we're all here for. And we have our firmware update page. Now we can see the current version is 1.0.3 and we know that we're at 1.02. So we definitely need to go ahead and download our firmware and do an update. So what we're gonna do then is click the view download page link right here. When we do that, we see a Windows and Mac option. I'm using Mac OS. The browser has automatically detected that and it's showing me that it is, you know, it selected that one, but if for some reason it picks the wrong one, just click the one that you need. Next, we can scroll down this page here and we can look at some options if you want. There's some changes from the C firmware version 1.02, which is the one that's on the Z7 that I have right now, to 103. If I click that, I can see all the different things that have changed. You can go over that at your leisure. If you're using an older version of firmware, you can look at previous changes right here. And then there's some additional information, viewing the camera firmware, which we already have done, and the product description that talks a little bit more about the firmware and how to update it. And there's a quick little list right here, but of course we're doing that in the video today. Next, we have to agree to the end user license agreement. We'll pretend I went ahead and read that and click accept. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Okay, we have a successful download. So our next step is getting that firmware onto a formatted memory card. So let's switch to the camera, format a card real quick, and then come right back. Okay, so the way we get the firmware to our camera is by using a freshly formatted memory card. So we'll need to format a card before we can proceed. Let's go ahead and make sure our camera is turned off, pop in our memory card, turn it back on, and then hit the menu button. Okay, we want to go to the setup menu if you're not already there. And we're going to scroll up to format memory card. And just go ahead and click that. And it's going to warn you that all the images on the memory card will be deleted. So if that's something you don't want to have happen, you probably ought to get them off the card before you do this. But assuming that it's okay to delete those, we're going to go ahead and hit yes and click OK. 
and that'll go ahead and format the memory card. Now that was for the Z7. However, you have something like a D850, there is a little bit of a catch. Let me show you that. Okay, the D850 is attached, and you can see we're in the photo shooting menu looking at the primary slot selection. If you have a camera that has more than one card slot, you want to use the primary slot as the one that you're doing your firmware updates with. Now, as you know, sometimes you can go ahead and switch those. You can use either the XQD or the SD card in this case, but whichever one you're using, just jump in here and double check which one's your primary. In this case, it's XQD, as you can see. That's the one we want to use for all this firmware updating. Okay, I'll format it. So let's turn off the camera and remove our memory card. Okay, we have our formatted memory card. I'm gonna go ahead and slip it into my XQD card reader and hopefully it'll show up here on the computer somewhere. There it is, Nikon Z7. We'll give that a double click and you can see we just have that standard DCIM folder and there's nothing in here at all. So perfect, that's our memory card right here. Just keep that in mind, I'm gonna put it right here. Now let's go back to our downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open those up and this F-Z7, in this case V103, this V will always have the version that you download. It'll be 103, 104, 105, whatever version it happens to be. We're going to go ahead and give that a double click. When we do so, it'll open up a new window and it'll have the Z7 update. And by the way, if you're a Windows user and you double click that, it won't be DMG, it'll be EXE, but it should do the exact same thing you just saw here. So I'm going to double click Z7 update and that will get me to the bin file. It is critical that you do not do this. Don't put the Z7 update folder onto your memory card because it's not gonna work. What you need is the bin file. This is the file you wanna put on your memory card. So we're gonna go ahead and just drag that over and drop it in. That's all we have to do. Only takes a second. It's also really critical that it is in the root directory of the memory card. You do not want this bin file inside the DCIM folder, or again, it's not gonna work. So that's pretty much all there is to it at this point. We are ready to go ahead and do our firmware update. We have the bin file on our formatted memory card, but first I'm gonna give you some warnings and these come straight from Nikon. Now, according to Nikon, I have no reason to doubt them about this. When you're doing your firmware update, you do not want to remove the memory card, turn the camera off, operate any of the camera controls, attach or remove any lenses, unplug or disconnect an AC adapter if you're using it instead of a battery, remove the battery if you're using the battery, or even if you're not using the battery, if it's in there, don't touch the battery, or subject the camera to any powerful electromagnetic noise, like don't do this with the camera sitting next to like a really old fan or something like that. Any of the above actions, according to Nikon, can cause the camera to become inoperable, and that means it's going to have to go to the service center. Now, that sounds kind of scary when you hear things about, oh my gosh, it's going to make the camera inoperable, but basically, when you start the firmware update, just set the camera down and don't touch it, and you're going to be fine. I've done a ton of these firmware updates. I have a lot of different cameras, and I've never, ever had a problem with any of them. So not really anything to be real scared about, but just don't touch the camera when it's doing the firmware update. Start it, put it down, wait for it to finish. That's all that you have to do. Let's go ahead and do that firmware update. Okay, I've ejected the card from my computer and now we'll stick it in the camera and turn the camera back on. Now, just go ahead and hit the menu button. Okay, so we're back in our setup menu here. And if you're not in the setup menu, make sure you go there. We left off on formatting our memory card. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the up side of the multi-selector and that'll actually scroll us and flip us to the bottom where it says firmware version. Either way you need to get to the part that says firmware version however you get there. Go ahead and hit OK and you'll see we have a new option or two here and the one we're interested in at the moment is update. We can go ahead and just give that a click and it's going to say would you like to update and we're going to go ahead and hit yes. At this point, the camera will go ahead and do the update. You'll see a little progress bar that goes along the thing there as shown in this little video clip here. And just don't touch the camera, just let it do its thing. Once the update's complete, the camera will ask you to turn it off usually. Now, there may be other steps, I suppose theoretically, that it could instruct you to do during the update. Just follow any instructions the camera gives you as you go. In this case, it just says turn the camera off, so that's what I did. And now let's go ahead and check and see if we have done a successful update. So I'm gonna hit Menu and firmware version and you can see we have gone from 1.02 to 1.03 here on our menu so that's exactly what we want now we can delete the firmware update files if we want and we can hit yes and then we're done or you could go ahead and just reformat the card whichever is easier for you but that's basically it once you have that done you've updated your firmware 
There you go. It's actually pretty easy and really doesn't take any time at all. If you enjoyed this tip, make sure you check out my ebooks, Secrets to Exposure and Metering for Nikon, Secrets to the Nikon Autofocus System, and Secrets to Studying Wildlife Photography. All are jam packed with tons of tips and tricks just like this. Also, remember to sign up for my free email newsletter, and it'd be great if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.